Welcome back to the show. Our next guest is a four-time X Games medalist. He's competing this weekend against dozens of the world's top skateboarders in an event happening right here in Western Washington. Please welcome to the show, Deshaun Jordan. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So the event's called Street League Skateboarding. What's this all about? So Street League Skateboarding um, is a contest that, that came about. Uh, Rob Deerdeck was like one of the original, you know what I mean, creators of it. And it pretty much was this contest that was made to um, bring, you know, some of the world's greatest skateboarders together, you know what I mean, in this environment that pushed everybody to like, Skate at like a, to skate at a substantial level, and you know what I mean, and just give the crowd like something they wanted to see, and so right. pretty much like, you know, it's everybody out there on the course together. You're hanging out, there's great skateboarding going on. It's just like a great environment to be in because everybody's pushing each other. The energy is awesome, and yeah, you know, you go across the whole world. You know what I mean, competing and skating with your friends. You must be inspired because my my little daughter, she told me a few years ago, she's like, Mom, I want to skateboard, and so we took her to the skateboarding in the skate park, and she just gets so inspired when she sees the people really just ripping it and doing great. <laughs> so, uh, how did you, you said you you told me you grew up in Arizona? How did mm -hmm. you get into skateboarding? So it started when I lived in Tucson, Arizona. Mm -hmm. I had a group of friends that I always hung out with, you know what I mean, the neighborhood I grew yeah. up in. And it was kind of like whatever was the new task or, you know, thing they were picking up, we all just, you know, did it as a group. And so if whether it was basketball, rollerblading, biking, mm -hmm. skateboarding came about, and I was really intrigued with skateboarding. So when I linked up with them and they had a skateboard, I couldn't get off of it. Everywhere we went, we were at the basketball courts, you know oh, what I mean, that's... just everywhere. And I just always was riding the skateboard. And so when I moved from Tucson to Phoenix, I kept skateboarding. And that's when I like went to some of my first skate parks and saw more about skating. Okay. And that intrigued me to just stay, you know, be attached in it and keep doing it. And then from there, um, I just learned more and learned through experience and went on to compete and, you know. And if you're dedicated enough to skateboard in an outdoor skate park, and triple digit temperatures like you know it's your thing <laughs> facts yeah it was <laughs> yeah it was so normal to me too like it was that's all i was doing was skating in the summertime yeah. I, I would have a beanie on when triple hey, digit weather gosh. and it was normal to me but i feel like now living in la for you know years yeah, i've definitely would, got spoiled with the weather you could melt <laughs> um so when did you go from okay this is a hobby i take this everywhere to realizing this is something i can do professionally and oh i can be an extreme sports person <laughs> Um, I would say, I don't know, I, I would say, yeah, through time and experience, like I learned more than I mm -hmm. learned what it could actually be as a career and like what opportunities were out there for it. And so um, I would say through competing, that kind of helped me get my name on the scene a little bit. And then yeah. after getting my name on the scene, um, I just was like, oh, like this is an option, you know, I could, this is a way to, to get there. And even up all the way up to the point to where I got the, my first email about wanting to be support on a more formal level, um, I still didn't understand it. You yeah. know, for me, I was like, what does that mean? And then, you know, time went by and then, you know, I started, you know, getting paid to skateboard, you know what I mean? And then yeah. from there, it just was just keeping that fun aspect and just not forgetting why I started. That is awesome. By the way, I like your style. Thank you. I mean, I don't Appreciate think I've it. ever seen a skateboarder <laughs> doing it in a polo. <laughs> yeah, that was. Does Nike sponsor you? Yeah. Good. That's one of my sponsors. They should. Yeah. Um, so, uh, how, I understand, aside from skateboarding and extreme sports, you're also in the music scene. Mm hmm. Tell me about that. Um, so yeah, music has been a part of my life for for a long time now, you know, from all my peers, my mm -hmm. older cousins to friends, and I've always just been super drawn to it. And you know, through times I would like, you know, make music with my cousins, you know, and they would like write me lyrics and like, you know, I would freestyle with them. And <laughs> I feel like as I got older, my ear got more mature for music and I was blessed to have people, you know, in my friend group that are involved in the music industry and like yeah. helped me get better at it and learn music more. And so I just started, you know, getting more comfortable with like, showing that side of the world, you know, and then I went on to start dropping music and, and stuff like that. And that's literally like my life. I wake up, go to the gym in the morning, go skate, you know, until the sun goes down and then I end at the studio every day. That is great. Mm -hmm. Man, is there anything you don't do? Apparently, actually, that's <laughs> there's not. He also is apparently quite good in the roller rink. You can dance on skates. <laughs> yeah, ro roller skating is another thing that's been what? a part of my life. I, I love this. Yeah, I roller skate. Man, I, I used to roller skate every day, every weekend. Mm -hmm. They would have like all nighters at the roller rink where you yeah. would go and like, you know, skate all, it's part of the night, take your skates off, dance. And so roller skate is also one of those things that like will forever be a part of me. I love roller skating. Why don't we have video of Deshaun <laughs> roller skating, dancing? I don't know. I think uh, there's some on my Instagram that I posted a, okay, a little well, bit ago. We're going to get on that. <laughs> well, first of all, tell me about the competition this weekend in Everett and how people can go. 
Um, so uh, they're doing Street League in Everett this weekend. Um, amazing skateboarders are coming in, you know what I mean? People from all over the country, I mean, different countries, different states. Um, and it's gonna be a great time if you wanna go. Uh, I know Street League, they have a link to tickets. You can go to streetleague.com um, or even through Instagram, they have the link in there. You can click to get tickets, but yeah, you don't wanna miss it. It's gonna be great energy, you know, great crowd. You know, everybody from uh, A-Shock to Street League, they do a really good job of putting on these events. And this is my first time in Seattle, so it's like, Welcome. you know, super crazy, like that, you know I mean? I've been brought to Seattle through Street League, so I'm, you know, I'm blessed to be here and experience this, you know what I mean? And experience my first time with whoever comes and supports us. But yeah, it's definitely gonna be a good time. And, you know, I hope people can make it out and, and come check us out and, you know, and see what it's about. Oh my goodness. Well, you may not have inspired me to kick push <laughs> but I know you're gonna inspire the kids and you certainly inspired us to you know explore all of our talents thank you so much it was a pleasure thank you. talking to you much love talking thank you for talking. all right well coming up next well right now we're gonna tell you about the street league skateboarding competition championship tour which is coming to Everett's Angel of the Winds Arena August 13th and 14th this is gonna help determine which skaters advance into the battle in the title round in November so you're seeing a real lot of action very exciting